Hello folks, this is a 2004 Fleetwood Bounder. It's a model 35R. It's approximately 36 feet long and it sits on a workhorse chassis with a Chevy 8.1 liter, 362 horsepower with about 450 foot-pound of torque. Let's take a look at this rig. We'll go through the whole thing on this video. We just installed brand new tires on it. The windshield has no cracks in it. Shows a little cracking in the paint right here in the front. Now folks remember this is a 04 so it's gonna have a 14 years of almost 15 years of wear and tear. Normal wear and tear. We just installed brand new tires on it because they were dry rot. So you got six brand new tires. got plenty of basement storage. Now it does gonna need a, a uh, awning for the slide. It is missing. There's plenty of storage in here. Let's take a look. Plenty of storage. You can see there's no delamination. There's a little probably fading in the color, or maybe it just needs to be polished. They look pretty good. New tires. Bounder, 35, 36 feet, 5500 Onan generator. I think it's got 320 hours on it. Now the, the coach, the coach's engine is going to be serviced, meaning the oil change is going to be done, and we're going to service the generator also. We're going to change the filter, the oil, and the probably the uh, the gas filter on it. So that'll be ready to go. It's ready to hit the road. It's got a one-piece fiberglass back on it, so there's no leaks. It does have a 5,000-pound hitch, equipped with a seven-way. Also. It does have a brand new spare tire in here. Pretty neat where they put it. Easy access. Colored, I think it's colored backup camera. It does have a ladder to go up on the roof. Mud flap. Might be a little windy. You might hear the wind in the. Uh, in the video. Sorry about that. It does have one slide on the bedroom here and a slide out in the living room. Two slide out unit. Drove it 1500 miles with zero issues. Drives really really nice. It is a Texas motor coach. The awnings in good shape. Everything works in it. The fridge, the hot water tank, the heaters work. The batteries are about five months old in the, in the coach and the front. So they are fairly new. They were replaced. Let's take a look inside. It's got power step. It's got this Nice grab handle also. So you can grab on and hop in. Now it is missing a couch. We do have one. We are going to put one in here. It's a leather brown couch that turns into a sleeper. So that will probably be here tomorrow. Let's take a look at the unit on the inside. Now you're noticing the TV is missing. We do have a 32 inch TV and a 24 inch TV. We were going to replace for a, an LCD flat screen. We'll buy them, you guys install them. The uh, flex steel captain's chair are in really good shape. Now this, uh, it's got 25,172 miles on it. It's got auto leveling jacks. It's got plenty of power going down the road. Beautiful woodwork. Does have a satellite dish on a roof and a trigger charger. You'll see in the pictures. It's got a desk. 
seats are in really good shape. Now you notice there is a small hole over here. Just want to show you everything. Slide out work really well. Plenty of storage in the kitchen. Coffee maker, three burner stove, oven. Now it looks like the microwave, the built in was taken out and put replaced with this one. I'm not sure why, but that was, that's what comes with the unit. Lots of storage. Does have a washer and dryer built in. The door is um, broke. I think you can get one of these new, the facing on it, but it still does work. Great feature to have in a motorhome, especially in a in a in a um, gas motorhome. Not many have them. The fridge works really well. It's a four door Norco refrigerator. That's an upgrade. Also, the washer and dryer is an upgrade. It's got two ACs. Big wardrobe closet over here. It's got the uh, sleep sleep number adjustable mattress on here. That was an upgrade. It's got the stereo back here. Plenty of wardrobe closet on this side. Now there's the other TV that's missing that we got up front, a uh, 24 inch that's gonna go there. It's got four drawers down there. It's got a makeup counter. There's your fuses right there. There's your control for the ACs and heat pump. It does have a nice size bathroom. A big shower. Skylight in there. Carpet seems to be in good shape. The linoleum seems to be in good shape also. There's no holes in it. Now there's a little staining over here. That's probably from the slide. I'll start the generator. And there it goes. 293 hours on a generator. The AC works pretty good in the front. It's got a uh, tow brakes in it also. Electric mirrors. Overall, very good, very good coach. It's got Cory on top, but it does have. Not sure if that's a crack or a line, but it, it's on there. You can see that knife holder. You can hear the generator running right now. For a 2004, it's kept really nice. It's got low hour, low miles on it, low hours on a generator. Um, here's the NADA book on it. On the low side is 28, 575, average retail of 34, 417. So take a look at the listing. If you have any questions, please give me a call. My name is Mo. My number is 248-701-4368. Again, that number is 248-701-4368. You can call me, text me, email me. Take a look one more time. Generator is running. Remember, we are going to have a couch in here. Thank you.